Hey, quick question. If a hacker broke into your cloud account right now, what's the first thing they'd see? Your bank statements? Your collection of cat memes? Or worse? If that made you panic even a little, you're not alone. Because the latest threat report is here, and it's spilling the tea on just how vulnerable our precious clouds really are. Welcome to Cloud Security Risks, insights from the latest threat report, where we're diving deep into the shocking realities of cloud security. Don't worry though, this isn't a doom and gloom lecture. We're here to break it all down with relatable scenarios, a bit of humor, and plenty of actionable advice. So buckle up, your data's counting on you. First, let's address the obvious. The cloud is amazing. It's like that magical bag in Harry Potter. You can stuff everything in it, and it's always there when you need it. But here's the catch. The bigger and shinier something is, the more thieves want to steal it. According to the latest threat report, cyber criminals have been working overtime to exploit the cloud. And the findings? Yikes. Let me give you the highlights. Misconfigurations are still the number one culprit behind cloud breaches. It's basically like leaving your front door wide open and wondering why your TV's gone. Ransomware attacks have graduated to cloud environments. Hackers are no longer satisfied with just locking up your PC. They want your entire digital empire. Insider threats are becoming a big deal. Whether it's accidental clicks or outright sabotage, sometimes the calls are coming from inside the house. Sound terrifying? It's about to get even spicier. Let's break these down, and don't worry, we'll also talk about how to fight back. Let's start with misconfigurations. Picture this. You've just set up your shiny new cloud environment, and in your rush to get things running, you accidentally leave a critical security setting off. Boom. Hackers waltz right in, like it's an open house. Here's a real-life horror story. Remember the Capital One breach? A single misconfigured firewall let a hacker access over 100 million customer records. That's the equivalent of accidentally tweeting your bank password to the world. Word. So what can we do about it? Regular audits. Treat your cloud settings like your closet. Go through them regularly and toss out anything that doesn't spark security joy. Automation. Use tools that can catch vulnerabilities before they become disasters. Think of it as hiring a virtual security guard that never sleeps. Training. Because let's be real, half the battle is knowing which buttons not to press. But misconfigurations aren't always simple mistakes. Sometimes, they're the result of overly complex systems. Many organizations adopt multiple cloud platforms, AWS, Azure, Google Cloud, all at once. While this offers flexibility, it can also lead to a tangled mess of configurations. Managing all these environments without proper tools or expertise is like juggling flaming swords. One wrong move, and it's chaos. This is where cloud governance frameworks come in. Think of them as the rules and guidelines that keep your multi-cloud environment running smoothly and securely. Implementing a governance framework ensures you know who's doing what, when, and how. It's not glamorous, but it's essential. Next up, ransomware. You've ever had a virus lock up your laptop? You know how annoying it is. Imagine that happening to your entire cloud environment. That's ransomware too. And it's as bad as it sounds. In 2021, a major healthcare provider's cloud system was hit with ransomware. Not only were sensitive patient records encrypted, but critical services were disrupted for weeks. Imagine showing up to the ER and being told, sorry, the computers are being held hostage. Yeah, not ideal. How to protect yourself. Backup, backup, backup. And no, your backup can't just be another cloud account. Keep offline backups too. Multi-factor authentication, MFA. Because passwords alone are so 2005. Phishing training. A lot of ransomware starts with a simple phishing email. Don't be the person who clicks the congratulations you've won link. And let's not forget the rise of double extortion ransomware. This nasty twist doesn't just lock your files. It also threatens to publish your sensitive data if you don't pay up. It's like a burglar stealing your diary and posting it online. If you have backups, the threat of exposure can still force companies to cave. One way to fight back against ransomware is by segmenting your networks. This means creating barriers between different parts of your cloud environment, so if hackers do get in, they can't roam freely. It's like locking the doors inside your house. Not foolproof, but it slows them down. Let's talk about insider threats. These aren't always malicious. Sometimes it's just someone being, well, human. Like that coworker who accidentally uploads sensitive files to their personal Dropbox. You know the one. The report highlights that remote work has made insider threats more common. Employees are logging in from coffee shops, shared Wi-Fi, and, let's be honest, probably a few random beachside cabanas. 
finance company faced a massive leak when an employee unwittingly shared confidential data through an unsecured app. Fallout? Lawsuits, fines, and a whole lot of awkward company meetings. Prevention tips. Activity monitoring. Keep an eye on unusual behaviors, like someone downloading the entire company database at 3A. Based access. Not everyone needs access to everything. Turn doesn't need to see payroll files. Trust me. Regular training. Because a well-informed employee is way less likely to click on, this free iPad is yours. Let's not overlook third-party risks. Many organizations use contractors or vendors who also access their cloud environments. These third parties aren't following best practices. They can become weak links. Always vet your vendors and ensure they meet your security standards. Let's get futuristic. It's the hot new tool in cybersecurity, but guess what? Hackers are using it too. It's like a digital arms race, and both sides are getting smarter. How hackers use AI. Faster attacks. AI can find vulnerabilities in record time. It's like having a hacker on speed. Vincing phishing scams. AI-generated emails are so good they'd fool your grandma. And maybe even you. How you can use AI. Many cloud providers offer AI-driven threat detection that can spot suspicious behavior before it becomes a full-blown attack. Think of it as your personal cybersecurity assistant. But there's also a risk of AI bias. Automated systems are only as good as the data they're trained on, and if that data is flawed, it can lead to false positives, or worse, missed threats. This is why human oversight is still crucial. Isn't a silver bullet. It's a tool that needs proper management. It's a common misconception. Isn't cloud security the provider's job? Yes and no. It's a shared responsibility model. The provider secures the infrastructure, but you're responsible for what you put into the cloud. Data, applications, configurations. Think of it like renting an apartment. The landlord secures the building, but you're the one who has to lock your door. Takeaway. Don't assume your cloud provider has it all covered. Check their security features and make sure you're doing your part too. Or action plan. Adopt zero trust. Verify everything. Assume nothing. Encrypt your data. If hackers get in, make sure they can't do anything with what they find. Update regularly. Outdated software is basically an invitation to hackers. Monitor activity. Real-time alerts can stop an attack before it's too late. Train your team. Your employees are your first line of defense. Make sure they know it. The cloud is incredible, but it's not invincible. The key is to stay informed, stay proactive, and never underestimate the creativity of cyber criminals. By taking these steps, you'll be ahead of the game, and you'll sleep a whole lot better at night. And hey, if you're ready to take your security to the next level, check out tools like Log Me Once, because your passwords deserve just as much protection as your data. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and drop a comment below. Let us know your biggest cloud security concern, or just say hi. See you in the next video, where we hopefully won't be talking about another data breach.